Hello everyone and uh, in this tutorial I will show how to um, save an array and uh, read an array from a binary file. A binary file is simply a file which contains uh, a sequence of byte uh, representing the array or the variable that is saved uh, uh, in it. Okay, so first of all let's create uh, our um, a folder for um, uh, this tutorial. So YouTube tutorial. All right. I will um, use uh, C++ uh, with uh, Visual Studio. So let's create a new project in Visual Studio. A new project. All right, is a C++ Win32 con uh, console application in uh, next up uh, YouTube tutorial. Okay, and I will name my tutorial simply tutorial. All right, very simple. Let's follow the wizard. Just leave console application and precompile header. Fine. All right. So now I need uh, to include here we have our precompile header. I need to include uh, some more and f stream as well as uh, io stream. All right. And I will also use uh, namespace STD, which is for input and output. Okay, for now just leave the main as it is and uh, let's create uh, first the function to read my binary file. Okay, so I assume that I want to read uh, um, an array which is in, in, in the file and put it in an array called output array alright and uh, I need to give uh, the file name and also and also um, the length of the array. All right. Okay, so first of all I need to create a variable if stream called uh, input data. And uh, input data will open my file, so file name. So if this command is successful, then do the following. Otherwise, my program will simply return minus one, a code that means that an error occurred. Then in this case, very simple input data I will read from input data. Um, so reinterpret, reinterpret cast char output array, and then I will also size of int times length. What does this command do? So, um, be careful, there was a mistake here, two times int. Alright, um, so this command read from uh, um, the file. Um, it will read um, a length of a number of bytes uh, or a number of bits which is uh, the size of an integer times the length of the array because uh, the array is an array of integers with uh, 
a number of element elements which is uh, length and so this is the number of bytes that uh, have to be read from the file and then this uh, um, this will um, simply take the bytes and put it put them into my variable which uh, was initialized as an output array all right after this I, s I can simply close my file and this is my function to read then I want to create the function to write in this case I will define an input array the array that contains the data that I want to write then the file name and again the length and this point I can create the function so I will create a variable of stream named output data and then output data will open my file name then if this command is successful and I check it in this way then I will do something otherwise I will return minus one because an error occurred okay if uh, I could open my file then output data will write something to my file and so interpret cast then const char alright input array for the size size of int times length and so in this way um, I can save an, um, an array of integers okay if this is successful then I can simply close my file all right So um, here in both cases I forgot to put return zero because something needs to be returned here and here. All right. Then I can use my functions. So first I will create an error variable and then uh, I, I want to create two arrays to check how my function works the first array is x and it contains 0, 1, 2 the second y will contain 3, 4, 5 and first I want to print out my um, arrays so I will do this x is x 0 then x 1 x and finally end line then I will do the same for array 
y. So y is y, y, and y. All right. Then at this point, uh, we have two different vectors. And uh, I will try to write my array x to file my file, a binary file. The size is 3. Then if this command was successful, then I can then uh, read from uh, from my file with size three, um, but I will put the result in y. So here the two vectors, the two arrays were supposed to be different while after this command the two vectors must be the same and uh, so let's observe the two vectors again here and finally put a get char just to freeze the terminal and uh, see the results here return error all right, let's build, compile. Okay. Okay, so now, now we can see it worked. Because here first we have two different vectors and afterwards they were the same. Okay, now let's um, see that uh, we want uh, to store a vector of size um, 2000 let's see 2 million all right 2 million in uh, in a file that uh, we will call large file dot bin the size of course must be the same so copy and paste it and of course uh, I want to store Z all right let's see if this works okay now you can see that we get stuck overflow and uh, so this is because uh, an error occurred because uh, this variable was too large for the stack and this stack is a part of my memory me the memory of my computer in which uh, these variables are stored by default and uh, so if I define my variable in this way then uh, um, I know that uh, uh, an error will occur if the size is too large. So this was for stack. Instead, if uh, I um, take a, um, a size that is lower, for example, 1024, 1024, then I see that that this works and also try to locate a large file in um, in my computer so it's a tutorial my large file so large file is uh, as uh, we can see has a size of uh, uh, 4098 bytes and this is correct because uh, we know that we store an array of integers and uh, as uh, you can see an integer has a size of 4 bytes uh, and we stored 1024 uh, 
elements uh, and so it's right to get the size of uh, um, 4098 bytes. Okay, just uh, um, I want to see for this is was with stack, so let's try to see if uh, we can store a really large variable. Um, and in order to store a very large variable in a binary file, first we have uh, to handle this variable, and uh, since the variable is very la uh, large, we have to use another part of the memory which is uh, slower but, bi but bigger, and this is the heap. Okay, in order to create a variable in the heap, just create a variable, let's say k, put here an asterisk, and define as new int, alright, and uh, now we can indeed uh, use uh, um, length of uh, uh, 2 millions. So now we can again try to write this variable k in a file that we will call very large file the bin and uh, this has a size of two millions. All right. Let's see if this uh, works. Okay, we didn't get any error, and uh, here we can see that we created uh, a very large file of 8 million of bytes. Indeed, uh, we stored uh, um, 2 million of times a variable that has a size uh, of uh, two, uh, 4 bytes. So the size, uh, the total size in bytes of my array is uh, um, basically 8 megabytes. Alright, uh, so in this tutorial we sh I showed uh, how to create um, and store a, an array, an integer array, on a binary file on my hard disk, in a binary file on my hard disk, and I also showed how to read my array back from the file, and uh, I also showed the uh, um, difference between between the use of stack memory and heap memory, showing that uh, for very large arrays uh, you have to use the heap and define the array uh, in a different uh, way. So thank you for watching this tutorial and uh, um, see you next time.